hydrate, skin water. My name is Vivian and welcome back to Skincare My Way. And today I am going to teach you how to hydrate the skin and why it is so important to hydrate and how different hydration is compared to moisturizing. Hydration and moisturizing are two completely different things. When I'm hydrating my skin, usually I do it in the morning and it takes me about a half an ounce of skin water to actually hydrate my skin for the day. But before I hydrate, I really want to do a deep cleaning. So here are four things that I would use, two of which you probably have in your kitchen that you can do. You can use all four to clean your skin or you can just use one of these to clean your skin. I am not going to be using the micro scrub. Micro scrub would be the first thing I do, but I'm not going to be using the micro scrub because most people don't have a micro scrub in their medicine cabinet. So I'm not going to be using this. But before I start to wash my face, I did do an overall check of my skin and what I wanted to talk about. In the morning, I've done nothing to my skin so far. And in the morning when I get up, I take inventory. And what I noticed today was, which is almost every day, I get a little bit more inflammation here than I like. And, uh, and that was basically it. And you know, I'm always working on my neck. So that's always a work in progress. So those are the two things that I will be addressing in this cleaning and in the hydrating of my skin. So first of all, I'm just gonna wash my face. And you see there is no bowl of water here. I am not gonna be using any water at all today. It's gonna to be that easy. And it really doesn't take much time at all. But here goes, I'm just gonna put our facial wash on my face and you can actually really go around the eyes. It doesn't get in the eyes, it doesn't sting the eyes. And you can just clean this off really easily. You can use water. Some of my clients put their facial wash in the shower and use it there. Um, but I just like, because I am the lazy skincare girl, and I just like doing it this way because it's so simple. Okay, so there you go. The second thing I'm gonna use to clean my face is I'm gonna actually use baking soda, and today instead of coconut oil, I put olive oil, because I'm, I wanna kinda of experiment with different oils and baking soda. So today, I'm just gonna use some baking soda and coconut oil, and I know a lot of people are really freaked out about using baking soda, but it is one of my favorite ingredients to use, and I love it for cleaning. I think it's really misunderstood. I know a lot of people use it um, to brush their teeth with, but I'm gonna use it for my face to deep clean. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually not even gonna remove it. I'm gonna leave it on the skin for about two to three minutes. Hmm. The olive oil smells really good. I don't feel any tingling or stinging with the baking soda. Sometimes if you feel a sting or a tingle with the baking soda, your skin is, um, it's not conditioned enough to use it. If you feel stinging after like about a minute, I would take it off and I would go right to the yogurt. And today I'm gonna to be using Greek yogurt, of course, and I'm gonna be using this Chiobani strawberry. Um, and I'm not even gonna take the baking soda and coconut oil off because the yogurt will take it off for me. Because you see, I'm not using any water for my skin today. I'm just going to be using Greek yogurt right on top of the baking soda and coconut oil. And once my skin is cleaned enough, the skin water will just go right into my skin. It will absorb into my skin. It will take about 10 to 15 minutes, but we'll see how long it takes. But I just want to show you one of the most important things is to really get your skin clean. And most, what, what I've learned in skincare is that I was not cleaning my skin enough. And I know they say wash your face twice a day. It isn't really how many times you wash your skin. It's really what you use 
to take off the buildup, especially if you are over 60. Like I'm almost 70. And so I created this plan for myself to actually rebuild my entire, the entire surface of my skin. So I do this pretty much all over my body. I only work on my body like, let's say, maybe four or five times a year to really deep clean it, to do a treatment on it. And it's winter time, so I will be doing more treatments on my body because um, we become so dry. And I do understand that the most important aspect of your skin, especially in the winter time, is to try to keep it hydrated. So now we're gonna hydrate. My skin is clean. I got pretty much everything off of it. And again, it doesn't really matter because the skin water, everything that I do, like the yogurt, will remove a lot of the baking soda and coconut oil. I mean, even if I felt there was still more stuff on it, I could go back to the facial wash, put a little bit more facial wash on it, just to remove any more debris and then take that off. And then it's squeaky clean. So now I'm gonna hydrate my skin for the day. And what the hydration should do, it should actually plump on my skin. It's anti-inflammatory, help reduce all the inflammation that is sitting in my skin. So I'm gonna take this skin water right here and I just like to use it. Well, I'm gonna use this stuff off the lid. Okay, so this is about a half ounce. Right there, that's about a half ounce. So now I'm gonna take this, and it is so cold, and I'm gonna put a good coat of skin water on, and I'm actually gonna leave it on here for about 10 to 15 minutes. And what this should do is this should disappear. In fact, I'm gonna actually add a little bit more just so you can see how it disappears. And this is how we, the face actually will drink in the moisture. Okay, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna be back in about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how long this takes to soak into my skin. If skin water does not soak into your skin after 10 or 15 minutes, your skin is blocked and it needs more cleaning. So let's see what I get after about 10 to 15 minutes. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And you can see a lot of the skin water has disappeared on my skin. Here it is. And now all I'm gonna do from this point on is I'm just gonna take a towel and I'm gonna wipe off what is left on the surface. And I would also, in about maybe 10 minutes, wipe it off again, because there is so much moisture in your skin, you may have to wipe it off again. And if you do decide to put makeup on after this, it may ball up because there is so much water in your skin. So I wouldn't do this treatment right before wearing makeup. I would wait a while, like an hour or two after this treatment to apply makeup, or I just wouldn't do this treatment the day I was wearing makeup. But I don't wear makeup, so it's not a problem for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. There is a huge difference between hydration and moisturizing the skin. Moisturizing is just like a band-aid. It just puts a small sheet of moisture on your skin. It doesn't do anything for the real hydration. Skin water is actually the workhorse. It's gonna put the moisture into your skin, keep it there, and then if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna actually use a peptide serum and possibly a moisturizer because it is winter time now and we do become drier. I hope this helps. I will be back. I have a lot to say on this subject. Thank you for watching. My name is Vivian. I will talk to you soon. Hydrate in water. Thank you for watching.